Long before there were men to see it, long before there were words to describe it, the waters of a bay that would become known as Biscayne gently caressed this sweeping curve of land. It was a fruitful embrace, nurtured by the warm tropical sun, fresh water from inland streams, and the winds of the bay. Life thrived. Thousand years ago, man appeared, Paleo-Indians, the oldest known people of North America. Only fragments of their presence remain to tell their story. The rest is folded in the shrouds of ancient history. Later came the Tequesta, living from the bounty of the bay, the gifts of the land, and burying their dead in sacred mounds, like the one now marked by this ancient tree. By the time the first American pioneers arrived, the Tequesta too had vanished. These newcomers were also drawn by the lure of the bay. Their settlement, the dockside town of Cutler, thrived for a handful of years. In 1896, Cutler citizen Samuel Richmond and his wife built a sturdy pioneer house just steps away from the shore. Soon they enlarged their house and opened Richmond Cottage, the first hotel between Coconut Grove and Key West. But change was in the air. Florida, once a remote tropical paradise, populated only by hardy pioneers and Native Americans, became not only a desirable place to live, but accessible. Thousands streamed down from the north in search of a better life in the sun. They built homes, then cities, and the beautiful shores of Biscayne Bay began to change. One man tried to stop time. In 1913, Chicago industrialist Charles Deering acquired the Richmond Cottage and remodeled it into his family residence. Adjacent to this old pioneer structure, he constructed a grand Mediterranean revival-style mansion to house a personal art collection that included Rembrandts, Goyas, and El Grecos. The estate was, by any standard of measure, extraordinary. His home and surrounding grounds remained in the family and virtually unchanged for more than a half century. By good fortune, hard work and foresight, the Deering Estate at Cutler passed into the hands of the state of Florida and Miami-Dade County. Today, the restored century-old Richmond Cottage still stands overlooking the Keyhole Boat Basin. And the elegant stone house, 
still appears as if it has been prepared for the imminent arrival of Mr. Deering. Charles Deering was an intensely private family man who treasured beauty and the joy it brings the human spirit. He surrounded himself with objects that only great wealth can acquire. But of equal importance was his love of the land. Because of Deering's stewardship, the estate contains a unique combination of rare wildlife, uncommon and endangered plants, and remnants of Florida's disappearing habitats. Today, the Deering Estate sits in the midst of one of the most densely populated areas of South Florida. Yet it remains the same oasis of elegant, quiet beauty that Charles Deering sought so many years ago. Share this dream and walk back in time by taking a guided tour of the historic buildings and the unique natural areas of the estate. On the southern curve of a bay called Biscayne, the waters still caress the land at a special place. Look closely and you can discover this jewel of South Florida. <laughs>